Hi there! I thought I would introduce myself. As you can see, my voice was not at all very deadly. I guess that uh, the best thing I could really tell you is that I talk with my chest voice because if I talk any higher than this, I tire out extremely easily. And at the end of every shift, I'm a job where I am required to ask every customer white or brown rice, black or pinto beans, and what to kind of meat would you like in your bowl, burrito, salad, tacos. I as you can imagine, I tire out extremely quickly. I get a sore throat, and I don't know. Like it's just very hard for me. I can't afford to talk very high at this point, so I sound like something that's like a deep resonant chamber or something so this is how my voice ended up i had this i don't able to prove it and i mean vocal exercises i've never done them because i'm not a singer i've never really looked those things up and no matter what i did my voice was overly feminine as you already saw but i looked up some things online the best thing i could advise you to do is talk slower if you're ca caring about passing that is is talk slower like more controlled voice and stop talking a lot as in don't beat around the bush with your words just get straight to the point like saying oh i saw this thing outside yesterday instead of like trying to beat around the bush and l elongating your sentence just trying like basically mixing up your words you want short simple to the point sentences not run on sentences that don't have an end so that's my biggest thing that I've been told is something that happens in male spaces and at least that's what I've been told because in male spaces, let me tell you, contrary to what you might believe, I don't fit in in male spaces really, aside from the barbers. I mean like if you get me in a group with other guys, I'm going to literally feel like a fish out of water. I'm telling you this right now. So um, anyways, backtracking a bit. Another thing you could do is talk with your chest voice, because the biggest thing in, in trans guys, like getting voice dysphoria, it's not so much that their voice hasn't dropped on T, if they are on T, it's not that their voice didn't drop enough, it's the way they're using their vocal cords is the is basically the more feminine way to use it, and I've seen a lot of people in real life do that mistake. And I know it's kind of hard to change a feminine way to speaking to a masculine way of speaking, so the biggest tip I can give you right now is talk slower. The second tip I could give you is talk more from your chest. Like make the voice come booming out of your chest. It's like think of it as like an oil well that's trapped down here, but instead of making it go the long way around like like this, make it sound like this. You can make it sound like this. It's hard to explain. It's basically you stop you start using less of the top of your mouth. This is where most girls start talking in this section. This is how most girls talk and this is basically what I sound like if I talk in my head voice. But if you sound like this, and this is the way I've been talking with my brother and my dad were the ones teaching me how to speak instead of my mom. My mom was like so busy so they taught me to speak like this and they had to show me how to do it and I somehow learned how to do that. And the only time I sounded very feminine like was if I was excited or like raising my voice like this so that's all I can really think of at this point uh, it's not something it's something you have to practice a lot it comes with practice basically like anything in life if you want to practice guitar if you want to practice music if you want to practice writing or anything it's practice 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 or if you want to get muscle it's basically hitting the gym as much as you can so yeah, I think that's all I really have to say. Um, some people just get lucky with their voice. Some people don't. I mean, it's largely a genetic thing. You can look at your the men in your family, and you can sort of get an idea of what you're going to sound like. But ultimately, it could be either higher than what they have or lower than what they have. You never know. It's like you can't really get to choose how deep your voice gets to be, unfortunately. So yeah, I think that's the pieces of advice I'm going to leave for anybody that was interested in how to uh, properly use your voice if you're interested in that sort of thing. If not, you can always just do you. There's nothing wrong with that. There's uh, guys out there that sound that don't have t stereotypically male voices, I guess is the right way to say. I'm trying to be very politically correct because that's like the biggest thing that's in this trans community, being politically correct. 
So, uh, yeah, that's all I want to say, and I hope you guys have an awesome Thursday. Have a good weekend.